So what makes a global MBA from Alliance Manchester Business School um, stand out from other local or regional um, MBAs delivered from, from Singapore? Well, first of all, ours is an incredibly global program. We attract students from over 100 nationalities, as well as we use academics again, from many different uh, countries. Ours is a truly global curriculum, and indeed, we have a network of international centers that see us delivering the program, not only from Manchester and Singapore, but also from China, from Hong Kong, from Dubai, and from Sao Paulo. Our students, regardless of what center they're registered in, can actually travel to either um, Hong Kong, Singapore, um, Manchester, China, Dubai, and Sao Paulo to take workshops as part of the program. Ours is also a very flexible program. So it can be completed in as little as 18 months, but we also have the flexibility to extend the program and slow it down um, when life gets on its way. If you get a promotion, if you get married, or indeed if you want to slow it down for whatever reason, you can do the program in up to five years. Ours is a program that tends to attract a very senior cohort of individuals. So we tend to attract students here in Singapore with a minimum experience of 10 years, many of them in mid to very senior management positions. Also, is the fact that we belong to the University of Manchester, one of the most reputable institutions in the United Kingdom and indeed all over the world. Finally, something that is very important to the Global MBA program is our reliance on what we call the Manchester Method. So a way of conveying knowledge and skills to our students that tends to rely on a very reflective method, indeed on a very practical and hands-on methodology that sees our students being able to apply everything they learn into the workplace immediately, and one that it also tends to rely on a lot of group work. How do we deliver the Global MBA program at Manchester, and what are the benefits of our delivery mode? Ours is what we call a blended learning program, and what this means is that we combine both online delivery elements together with face-to-face -face delivery elements. By combining those two elements, we have the best of two worlds, really. On the one hand, we allow students to um, uh, benefit from face-to-face um, -face elements just as if they were attending a class in Manchester with top academics and very senior individuals. At the same time, we give online elements that provide part-time students with the flexibility of being able to get that program without having to compromise their own career progression. Finally, the fact that our program is delivered globally, the fact that we deliver this program here in Singapore, just as we do in Manchester, in Shanghai, in Hong Kong, in Dubai, or indeed in Sao Paulo, allows us to be able to give students that flexibility and that global outlook that they require out of a top MBA program. So what is the MBA doing to remain at the forefront of business and management education? Well, our world is becoming smaller and smaller and smaller by the day. MBAs need to be truly global programs that expose students not to local problems and local solutions, but to global problems and global solutions. Likewise, the type of audience that MBAs are being delivered to has actually changed over the last couple of decades. No longer is the case that the vast majority of our students decide to do a full-time MBA, but many of our students instead need to combine the MBA with their own career progression. Flexible modes of delivery have therefore proliferated, and it's very important that you are in a position to choose an MBA that really works for you and that you can combine with your own personal and professional needs. Finally, curricular developments are extremely important to stay on top of all um, uh, future developments in the economy. So, we hear very often that in 20 years time, half the jobs that exist today will not be in existence. So, what should we be teaching the next generation of leaders? Those of you who will be leading the world in 10, 20, 30 years time, we need to make sure that we teach you the right skills that would allow you not only to navigate that context of uncertainty, but to thrive in it. 
For that reason, we need to teach you how to collaborate with others, how to better communicate, but we also need to ensure that you can actually be creative thinkers, that you can think outside the box, and indeed also that you can critically think, that you can look at the world in a totally different perspective. Finally, collaboration, communication, creativity and critical thinking should actually give you confidence as a leader of tomorrow. Confidence in terms of self-assurance in your own abilities to make the most out of what those future opportunities bring, but also to be confident about the future, to look at those positive opportunities that the future and uncertainty 